The Coca-Cola formula is the Coca-Cola company's secret recipe for Coca-Cola syrup, which bottlers combine with carbonated water to create the company's flagship cola soft drink. Company founder A.S.A. Candler initiated the veil of secrecy that surrounds the formula in 1891 as a publicity, marketing, and intellectual property protection strategy. While several recipes, each purporting to be the authentic formula, have been published, the company maintains that the actual formula remains a secret, known only to a very few select, and anonymous, employees. Coca-Cola inventor John Pemberton is known to have shared his original formula with at least four people before his death in 1888. In 1891, A.S.A. Candler purchased the rights to the formula from Pemberton's estate, founded the Coca-Cola company, and instituted the shroud of secrecy that has since enveloped the formula. He also made significant changes to the ingredients list, which by most accounts improved the flavor, and also entitled him to claim that anyone in possession of Pemberton's original formula no longer knew the real formula. In 1919, Ernest Woodruff led a group of investors in purchasing the company from Candler and his family. As collateral for the acquisition loan, Woodruff placed the only written copy of the secret formula in a vault at the lending bank, Guarantee Bank in New York. In 1925, when the loan had been repaid, Woodruff relocated the written formula to the Trust Company Bank, now Sun Trust Bank, in Atlanta. On December 8, 2011, the company placed it in a vault on the grounds of the world of Coca-Cola in Atlanta, where it remains on public display. According to the company, only two employees are privy to the complete formula at any given time, and they are not permitted to travel together. When one dies, the other must choose a successor within the company and impart the secret to that person. The identity of the two employees in possession of the secret is itself a secret. During the late 19th century, Coca-Cola was one of many popular coca-based drinks with purported medicinal properties and benefits to health. Early marketing materials claimed that Coca-Cola alleviated headaches and acted as a brain and nerve tonic. Coca leaves were used in Coca-Cola's preparation, the small amount of cocaine they contained along with caffeine provided the drink's tonic quality in 1903, cocaine was removed, leaving caffeine as the sole stimulant ingredient, and all medicinal claims were dropped. According to some sources, coca leaf extract, with the cocaine chemically removed, remained part of the formula. By one account, the FDA still screens random samples of Coca-Cola syrup for the presence of cocaine. The company will not confirm or deny that the current version of Coca-Cola contains coca leaf extract, deferring to the secret nature of the formula. In 1911 the United States government sued the Coca-Cola company for violations of the Pure Food and Drugs Act, claiming that the high concentration of caffeine in Coca-Cola syrup was harmful to health. The case was decided in favor of Coca-Cola but a portion of the decision was set aside in 1916 by the Supreme Court 613 as part of a settlement, the company agreed to reduce the amount of caffeine in its syrup, 